So you've gone through the process of positioning layers in 3D space, you've added some lights, you've adjusted the material options, and now to create your final animation, all we have to do is add a camera into the scene. So to start, let's look at our timeline. And sure enough, we have three different lights that are in the scene, and we have several layers with 3D enabled. So to add a camera, let's go up to the layer menu and choose new camera. There are two different kinds of cameras we can choose from. Click on the camera type and let's select the one node camera first. Go to the preset dropdown, click on that, and you'll notice we have a bunch of different focal lengths and these are designed to function like DSLR lenses. So I'll choose the 50 millimeter lens and come down to the bottom and click OK. The camera has been added into the scene and just to keep things organized, I'll place it above all of my lights. Press P to open the position data of that camera. And then in order to see the scene more clearly, I wanna change the view in the composition panel. So go to the lower right area of the composition panel and click on the dropdown where it says one view. Switch it to two views horizontal. And then click on the left side here to make this view active. Press the comma key to zoom out. I pressed it twice. Then press and hold the space bar down to get your hand tool and click and drag up so we can actually see the camera in the scene. Now with the one node camera, if I scrub on the X axis, it's going to move perfectly parallel to what it's looking at in the scene. But I don't necessarily want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable the visibility for camera one. Go back up under the layer menu and choose new camera. This time under the type, change it to a two node camera and click OK. Press P to open the position and with the two node camera, scrub on the X axis. And you notice this camera will continually point to the middle of the scene. Now, hold down shift on your keyboard and click and drag on the X until we get way far over to the side. Something like this. Click on the stopwatch to add your first keyframe. Move three seconds down the timeline and let's hover over the X parameter and click and drag and then hold shift after you start to drag. And that will give us a nice motion to the camera. Notice once we've actually set two positions with the camera, the motion path has handles. So here I'll click on this handle and I'll just drag it out a little bit and I can do the same thing on this left handle. And now we can give a little arc to our camera as it rotates around. In order to view this, let's click on the right side of our viewport here to make the active camera side active, and then change our views from two views to one view, and then press the space bar. It may take a second to load up in RAM and cache everything so you can actually see it. Through the magic of editing, I will just show you what this looks like in a second. Now that probably took a little while to render, but there were a lot of lights in the scene with a lot of different settings. And that's something you should just be aware of when you're animating objects in 3D space. But when it comes to flying cameras through a 3D scene, you have two choices, a one node camera or a two node camera. It's the two node camera that has a point of interest. So if you'd like to orbit around something like we just did in our scene, make sure you use the two node camera.